Welcome guys, in this video I'm going to explain in details what is the monotonic stack and how it works. So as we all know this stack is a useful data structure used for storing and removing elements. So let's say we, for example we add the number 1 to our stack by using the push method and then we add the number 2 and 3. And then if we want to remove the an element from the stack by using the pop method we remove the very last element and then the 2 and then the 1. So the last element and is the first element out. We call this lethal. So what is the difference between the original stack and the monotonic stack? So the monotonic stack stores the elements in an ascending order. It could be increasing or decreasing. So let's say for example we have this set of random numbers and then we wanted to create an increasing monotonic stack. First of all we're going to push the number 2 and then we're going to push the number 5 since it's greater than 2 and then if we add the number 3 right here it's going to break the increasing order so we cannot add the number 3 right here we have to remove the number 5 and then add the number 3 then we move to the next element which is 7 we add it and then if we want to add the number 1 we have to remove all the elements because they are all greater than 1 and then and push the number one so like this we pushed all the elements into our stack by using an increasing order and if you want to use a decreasing order monotonic stack first of all we're going to push the first element and then we cannot push the number five because it's greater which breaks the decreasing order so we have to remove the number two and add the number five and then we push the next element which is 3 since it's less than 5 and then if you want to push the number 7 we have to remove both of them because they are both less than 7 finally we add the number 1 like this we push all the elements into our stack by using a decreasing order and now let's use the monot monotonic stack in a useful problem we're going to use the this problem at lead code called daily temperatures and in this problem we're giving an integer array of temperatures and then we have to return an array which has the number of days we have to wait until we find a warmer temperature so let's say for example at this day if we wait only one day we will find a warmer temperature so we put right here one while in case in this day we have to wait four days until we find a warmer temperature so we store right here the number four which is the difference between this index and this index so let's start coding this right here solving it by using a monotonic step so let's store the code the original code for it and then right here first of all we need to create our stack it would be of integer elements let's call it stack and then we need to create our uh, array which is the output array let's call it result and the length of this array is equal to the temperature so length we can call this temps to make it shorter dot length and then we're going to look through all the elements in our temperature array then we increment the i then right here we have to push all the indexes into our stack we use stack dot push i then when we push first of all we need to push this the index of the first element and then when we move to the next element when we increment the i and then move to the next element we need to compare the next element with the previous element so this element will would be temperatures i and the previous element will be temperature but the index we need to take it from the stack because we pushed the 
index of the previous element. So we can say temperatures at index stack to peak, which returns the very last index we added. And then we need to compare both of them. If the new element is greater than this one, we need to set the new array at the index of stack.peak, the very last element index we added to our stack, we need to add the number of this index minus this index. Now this index is 1, and this index is 0, so 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. And we can do this by creating a while loop. We can say if the temps i is greater than the temps stack.peak method, then we need to, so if this one is greater than this one, we need to set this index. First of all, we need to take it from the stack. Let's say integer i dx is equal to stack the pop we remove it from the stack and then let's say result at this index is going to be equal to i minus i dx so the first time the array will, would be empty so we cannot use this so we must say the stack must be not empty so stack is empty So the stack must not be empty to do this. So at the first step, we're just going to push, to push the index 0, stack is equal to 0. We're going to push the index 0 to our stack, and then in the next iteration, the stack will not be empty. And then the temps i, which is this at index 1, is greater than the uh, temperature at the index stack that big, which is 0. So we take the ind the uh, idx from the stack which is zero we remove it now the idx is zero now result at index zero is equal to i which is one minus zero and then we're going to do this until we reach the end of our array and then finally after this for loop we're going to return our result array let's run to make sure everything is working okay we have an error here okay we say while this stack is not empty and the temperature i is greater than the temperature stack to peak we misspelled this peak sorry it's taking a while my internet connection is not uh, perfect right now Okay, I have to refresh the page because I stayed in this page for too long. Now let's run. As you see, it's accepted and all the test cases are correct. So this is how we use a monotonic stack. And we also could use a monotonic stack and finding the previous greatest element and the next greatest element. And more other ways to use the monotonic stack so that's it for today i hope you liked it if you did don't forget to subscribe like and share and catch me on the next one